Hello and welcome to Neighborhood News Online's Neighborhood Dining News. I'm Neighborhood News Editor Gary Nager, and I'm standing here in front of the beautiful new bar at the Falabella Family Bistro, which is expected to open within the next couple of weeks in the Village at the Grove in Wesley Chapel. And while there have been a lot of new restaurants that have opened in Wesley Chapel the past several months, so much more is still on the way, including this great looking new Italian bistro created by 900 Degrees wood-fired pizza owner Steve Falabella. And speaking of Steve, within a couple of weeks after his new family bistro opens, he also will open his second 900 Degrees wood-fired pizza location right next door. Although the new 900 will be similar to the original location in the shops at Wiregrass, Steve promises a true family Italian bistro experience with full sit-down meals, plus a great selection of beer, wine, wine cocktails, and espresso drinks in here. But of course, Steve isn't the only one opening new eateries here at the Grove, as Joe Shembry, the owner of the Ice Dream Shop on State Road 54 in Lutz, is in something of a race to open his second location right across from Falabella's new restaurants. You can expect more of Shembry's creamy and delicious homemade ice cream, including those amazing alcohol-based flavors for adults only, as well as house-baked brownies and cookies with more decadent baked goods still to come. Also expected to open sometime in June, next to Troublemaker's Dueling Wing Piano Bar and Restaurant in the Grove, is Bluefin Sushi. Grove developer Mark Gold says that permitting issues have held up Bluefin's opening, but it should be ready to open soon. The same owner has a successful location in Parkland, Florida, that also features Thai cuisine. And in case you missed it, directly across from Bluefin and Troublemakers, Double Branch Artisanal Ales has added Omnivorous, a separately run new restaurant located inside the popular local microbrewery. I already love the crispy wings and Brussels sprouts appetizer at Omnivorous, and will definitely be going back for more soon. As for other new places, I also enjoyed my first visit to the new Token Ramen in the former location of Union 72 Barbecue next to the Brass Tap in the shops at Wiregrass Mall. I've personally never been the biggest ramen fan, but I really like the tender beef and onion rice bowl with baby bok choy and will definitely be visiting Token Ramen again soon. Meanwhile, the newest of the new restaurants in Wesley Chapel is Senor Tequila, the fourth link in a small chain of Mexican places with existing locations in West Chase, Carrollwood, and Winter Springs. The new Senor Tequila opened in the old Bonefish Grill location on Bruce B. Downs Boulevard, south of State Road 56, just before I recorded this segment, and Jana and I enjoyed our fajitas for two that first day. There's also a huge tequila selection for you margarita fans. And I'll be updating you about Wesley Chapel's new nutrition-oriented restaurants and juice bars in an upcoming Neighborhood News segment. For Neighborhood Dining News, I'm Gary Nager.